Hello everyone, welcome to Almighty Tricks. In this video, we are going to understand about decorative design pattern. Decorative design patterns comes under structural design pattern and it also known as rougher design pattern. So when we can use decorative design pattern? Whenever we have some requirement where we need to add some new features or functionalities or behavior in an existing uh, object in runtime, in that scenario, we can use decorative design pattern. Let's understand this with an example. Say there is an ice cream parlor. The shopkeeper only sells cone ice cream and the base variant of cone ice cream comes with the vanilla scoop and the cost around $20. Now, there are some more flavors are available like chocolate flavor, mango flavor and uh, those are cost around $10 and $5 respectively. Okay. Now, the condition is if any customer want to have chocolate flavor or mango flavor, then he or she needs to have base variant and on top of that, they can add chocolate or mango scoop. What I mean, so and one customer came and he want to have chocolate scoop. So he cannot have, he needs to have this base variant. Then on top of that, shopkeeper can add this chocolate scoop. Similarly for the mango scoop as well. So this is the condition. Now let's see some use case of this example. In order one, customer want only base variant, which is cost $20. In order to customer want chocolate scoop, so shopkeeper added a chocolate scoop on top of base variant and it's cost around $30. Why $30? Because base variant cost is $20, then chocolate scoop cost is $10. So total $30. Now in another order, customer want chocolate and mango flavor. So uh, shopkeeper added chocolate and mango scoop on top of base variant. So it's cost around $35. Now this example we are going to see in practically. Before that, uh, we need to understand how we can implement decorator design pattern. So to implement decorator de design pattern, we need to have one interface and a related method. The method can be have uh, like uh, get ice cream method or we can have build method. So get ice cream method, it will get the uh, ice cream and using build method will get the price of that order. Then we can have one base variant. So here base variant will be like uh, uh, we have this ice cream cone vanilla scoop is the base variant. So that will be our uh, base variant and it should implement this ice cream cone interface. Then we need to have one abstract decorator class uh, which will implement this ice cream uh, ice cream cone interface. And we need to have some uh, concrete classes like uh, chocolate scoop or mango scoop which will extend this abstract class. Uh, so after implementing this, the code structure will be uh, like this and here we can have the ice cream cone interface and ice cream cone interface is implemented by this base variant, base vanilla scoop ice cream and also it will implement it by uh, the abstract class that is ice cream decorator and this uh, we can have uh, some more uh, concrete class like mango scoop, chocolate scoop feature extending ice cream decorator. And we have one customer uh, client class where we can place the order. So let's uh, let let me write this code and I'll be explaining in detail. So I have created one decorator package. In that package, I have created one interface called ice cream cone. So ice cream cone uh, has uh, two methods that is get ice cream method and bill method. So get ice cream method is responsible to return the ice cream and bill method is responsible to return the price. And I have created uh, one uh, base variant that is uh, base vanilla scoop ice cream class. So it is implementing ice cream cone interface. And I am I have over override uh, uh, these two methods from ice cream cone interface. And I am returning this statement like simple cone with vanilla scoop. And I am returning the price for this base variant is $20. $20. Now I have created one uh, abstract class that is ice cream decorator okay so it is implementing this ice cream cone interface and also i have created one reference variable for this uh, interface and here i am initializing this interface and i have overridden this get ice cream method and bill method here i have i am calling in get ice cream method i am calling the uh, uh, ice, uh, the method of this ice cream cone interface similarly bill method of ice cream cone interface now i have created two uh, concrete class that is chocolate scoop and mango scoop in the chocolate scoop basically i am extending this uh, abstract class that is ice cream decorator and here i am uh, create i have created one uh, public constructor and here i am calling the super class constructor and i am passing this uh, reference variable of this ice cream cone interface 
now i have this uh, uh, method i have overridden this uh, method get ice cream method and bill method what i am doing i am calling the super class uh, method that is get ice cream method from this uh, ice cream decorator class and i am appending this string with chocolate so it means it is a chocolate scoop so i am appending this uh, uh, string with chocolate and i am appending the price of this chocolate scoop so price of this chocolate scoop is 10 and also i am calling the super class bill method similarly in mango scoop also i have implemented this ice cream cone decorate ice cream decorator abstract class and here i am uh, calling the super class constructor and here i am overriding gate ice cream method and bill method here i have i have append this uh, mango scoop uh, string and also i am adding the price of this uh, mango scoop so price of this mango scoop is 5 now i have created one uh, customer uh, uh, class where i can have the main method so in the order one in the order one so the order one will be like the base variant right so the base variant i have for that base variant i, ha I am creating this uh, vanilla scoop ice cream okay so this is the base variant and i am calling the get ice cream method and also i am printing the price of that order i mean this base variant price now in order to i need to have base variant with the chocolate scoop okay if you observe in the uh, so i am creating the chocolate scoop and i am passing this base variant uh, object to the chocolate scoop okay and here basically i am calling the get ice cream method and uh, bill method so here i am printing the bill so in order 3 we need to have base variant and on top of that we need to have chocolate and mango scoop as well so for that what i did i have created one mango scoop uh, object and i have in that object i am passing this chocolate scoop object and inside the chocolate scoop object i am passing the base variant okay and then i am calling this uh, order 3 get ice cream and order 3 dot bill method now if i run so if you see so we are getting a simple cone with vanilla scoop for the order one and it is cost around 20 dollar similarly in order two we have a simple cone with vanilla scoop with chocolate so it is 30 dollar similarly in the third order we have this vanilla scoop with chocolate with mango scoop and it is cost around 35 dollar okay so uh, if i open the diagram so in the diagram we have uh, one interface and we have one decorator abstract class and we have one uh, base variant concrete class and both both the uh, classes will be implementing this ice cream cone interface and we have uh, uh, the uh, ingredients like uh, chocolate scoop or mango scoop uh, those concrete class we can have and those concrete class will extend this abstract class and we have one uh, client or customer uh, class where we can place the order so this is all about decorator design pattern hope you understood this concept thank you for watching this video